everybody. I am Chris, and we are doing a foam rolling workout today. <laughs> Not a workout. Okay, this feels fantastic. Um, if you don't have a foam roller, there is a link to my Amazon store in the description where the this one is on there. Um, I really like this one because of the length of it. If you have a shorter one, that's fine. Okay. Um, we, we're just going to get right into it today. I do recommend that you're a little bit warm before you do this. And I know that most of us are because you guys just did the ballet bar workout with me, the cardio bar. So we're actually going to get down on the floor and Kev, will you hit play on that music when you're done? Okay. We're going to get down on the floor and you're going to have that roller behind you. Um, can you hit the C button real quick? I just want to see where that is. It's not that much of a helper. Okay. So you can go back to life. So I want this to start out, you're gonna lean on it, and I want you to have this below your shoulder blades right now. Okay, below your shoulder blades and bring your hands behind your head. And then just take a tiny arch over, opening up the front. Good. And then carefully bring it back. Your hands are behind your head and your head is hanging out in your hands. You're not pulling on it. So take it back, stretch, put those elbows open. Ah, oh, yes, and back in. Good. Go back again. Thanks, Regina. Nice. Now this is just to kind of give you a little bit of movement in that upper back. We're going to roll on it in a second. And notice, are you on a spot that feels very tender? <laughs> and that's what we're going to work on today is finding those little spots. Okay. So right here, hold it. Okay. Hands are behind the head. And lift your hips just a little bit. And I want you to just start to roll like three inches down. And then three inches up. So it's very, it's a little tiny bit of movement. Okay, just a little. Try not to hold your breath. You might find a little crack or two in there, yeah. Now go a little higher up toward the shoulder blades and just let your head be heavy. You shouldn't feel any tension in your neck. If you do, that means you're pulling on your neck and using the front of it. Good. What's going on there, Kev? Good. Take it back. And good. All right, so rolling isn't this. This is not rolling. I mean, it probably does a little something, but finding those little spots and then focusing on them is, is the best thing to do here. So what I want you to do now is put your butt back down and you're just gonna put your neck on the ball, I mean, on the roller, okay? And what you wanna do here is just hang here. You're not rolling back and forth, but you're gonna just slowly move your head to one side. Good. So Karen asked, does it matter if it's high or soft density? Um, and that is how, how solid or soft the roller is. That's kind of depending on, depending on the person, okay? Um, like I've had, you know, like some people go for a massage and they can hardly be touched, you know? And then there's me, who if you're not like digging your heel or your elbow into me, I feel nothing. So <laughs> you gotta have to feel out what feels best for you, okay? Uh, I wouldn't say I feel nothing, but I prefer the head deep pressure, right? Okay, so when you find a spot, just hang on that spot. So right now I have one little, when I say find a spot, it feels like almost like a knot. I want you to hang on that spot for a second and take a deep breath. And then go to the other side. Okay. Now some people are gonna be like, "This isn't how you foam roll." Yeah, it actually is. I I look at like at videos, other people's videos online, and rolling back and forth fast is not effective in what the foam roller is supposed to do. What we're doing here is myofascial release, and the fascia is uh, kind of like uh, you might say like the skin of your muscle. Okay. So what that's doing is it's helping to loosen up that fascia so that your muscle can move more freely within it okay so good nice 
find your spot and you just kind of go a little bit side to side on it. So everybody's spot might be a little different and we're not just sitting here, you're actually doing something. So if you're just laying here like, I don't know what I'm doing, you're not listening, <laughs> right? I don't mean to be rude, but you're, you, you gotta roll around and find your spots and then just hang on them and everybody's spot is gonna be different, right? Okay, okay. So now we're gonna come to your side, all right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sandy. All right, come onto your side and bring your hand behind your head. And then find a spot where you can go over and just roll back and forth. We're going to get those lats a little because we worked back yesterday. So you're going to find one spot. I have a spot right here, okay? It's kind of right in that spot where you're, if you're a female, where the bra strap is. And I'm going to roll back and forth right there. And now I have a spot where I feel there's tightness. When you feel that tightness, you're holding it there. And the tightness is probably feeling like, oof. Okay, breathe on it. Good. Breathe on it. And again, you might need to just roll around. You, like I have another one right here. I had to go back a little bit to find it. Inhale. You'll feel, sometimes you feel a little warmth and then that, you'll feel like, woo, like a tingle, right? Good. <sighs> nice. And let's go to the other side. Okay, so I'm going to turn so I can face you, but you could just roll the other way. Okay, so I'm just going to turn so I can face you, find that spot, hands behind the head. Okay. Oh yeah, this side's rough. Good. <laughs> this side's rough. Good. Hmm. Okay, so once you find it, it's probably a little tender. The spot's a little tender. You just find it, you hang on it, and you breathe. You don't find it and go, ooh, let me get off of that. Okay, <laughs> I mean, you might jump a little because it might be tender, but roll. Good, Tara. Good. Karen, good. Whew. You go back a little bit, find your spot. Good. Love you, Sandy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what, Trudy? Tingle. Tingle. I was like, typical. <laughs> That's totally a word I would use. <laughs> Oh yeah, and very nice. So we got into the lats, the neck, the middle back. Okay, now we're gonna pop up onto those glutes, which if you did my lower body workout yesterday, you're probably gonna feel this. Okay, so you're gonna cross your right leg over. Okay, cross your right leg over your left, your right hip is on the roller. You're gonna roll slowly. See how I'm not, okay? Roll slowly till you find a spot, okay? And you have, might have to move your hand a little bit. And when you find it, hang out on it. And then you could kind of go back and forth. Okay, you see my face there? Breathe. Good. So, Although this is the stuff that I know it's not as fun as jumping around and getting sweaty and feeling like, you know, that like that feeling after a hard workout. But you know what is really good? The feeling you feel of uh, freedom in your body when you're done with this. <laughs> right. So, oh, good. And you might have to just move around a little until you find another spot. OK, we're staying on this side. Right. By the way, thank you, Regina, if you're here. Thank you. Good. Woo hoo. Breathe. Awesome. Good. Let's do a little bit more on this side. And once you go over it, maybe you roll a little quicker and then find, see, find another spot. 
And if you do, hang there. We're just going to stay on this for one more breath wherever you are. Good, and switch. <laughs> I know. I was like, when I saw the, vi the picture you sent me, Regina, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> That's a little scary. Okay, so cross it over. That's my fault because I was just saying last night that I haven't heard anything. Okay, so you're on the other side now. So your left leg is crossed. Mm, good. Good. Oh, yeah, I got some tightness in the side. <laughs> and you might find one side is more tender than the other. And the funny thing is it might, you know, like typically my right hip tends to be tighter than my left hip and today my left hip is saying what is happening hold on my left glutes are a little cranky today breathe okay once you find it maybe you go for it back and forth on that one spot a little maybe you roll side to side back and forth okay and this is more <laughs> actually staying here to do it right so like you know and I've said this before when we do foam rolling you know you pull out the foam roller you get on it for like four minutes okay and then you're like that's good I mean, when you do an actual class you actually stay and you you're like all right I'll do the 20 minutes because I said I would do the 20 minutes okay stay here a little longer a couple more breaths good and the hips tend to be a spot where we hold stress, okay? Um, so, ooh, yeah. You t we always tend to think we hold a lot of stress up in our shoulders and our necks, and we do, we do. But the, the hips are also a place to hold a lot of stress, okay? We release that stress that actually helps with the metabolism to the lower body, blood flow to the feet, right, the ankles, Good. <laughs> Where is Louie? We need him. Okay, so we're going to go over to... You're not going to like me for this. Okay, you're going to flip over. Now let's just do a couple of little rolls because I know sometimes holding yourself up in that position is kind of hard. Okay. <laughs> Kev, Ronnie's on. All right. You're going to come over the, the roller. Ah, oh, here we go. And you're gonna come to your forearms as if you're in a plank, okay? So yeah, you do have to be able to hold up the body weight a little bit here. This is, the hips don't lie. Regina's funny today. <laughs> Good. What you don't wanna be doing is this. You see this arch in my back? You wanna try to hold it up as if you're in a plank. Now the quads are gonna have a lot of sensitive spots. So smile and breathe through it as you just slowly find your spots. Maybe roll back and forth gently on them. Just go like, a, you know, a half an inch to an inch as you find your spot. Just back and forth. Good. Breathe. Relax your face. Try not to clench the jaw. Good. Find another spot. You can even flex. Do you feel the difference of flexing or pointing the toes? Breathe. Good. And it's slow, right? It's nothing where you're rolling back and forth real fast. Once you find a trigger point, you're going to stay on it go back and forth an inch or two or just stay on it and hold it and breathe I can't Regina <laughs> stay right there hold it hold yeah this is where I clench too Teresa I'm like oh uh, this is the quads are my eee! tough spot good
Now here's a little something for you. Find a spot, bend your knee. Okay, so right now I have a spot in my left leg and I'm bending my knee, my left knee. Bring it down. Woo, see if you can find a spot on the other leg. So find it, when you get there, bend the knee. Ooh, yeah. Bring it down. Now, I do want you to take two big, slow, all the way up and down the length of the muscles. All the way up. And then one more going all the way right above the knee, right above the knee. And then, nice, come on back. Whew, okay, you have one more. This is a little weird. So you're gonna, you're gonna take the roller and you're gonna put it on your, you're gonna put your inner thigh on it. So this is great for you guys who sleep like this. this is the, I love sleeping like this, which is terrible. Okay, so bring it up and lift, lift into that little plank and roll. Good. Oh. <laughs> Trudy, that was like I'm playing guitar. Oh, good. This one's special. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> oh, hello. Good. Oh my goodness. Good. We haven't done this one. <laughs> this one's really special. Good. Good. <laughs> I love, Janine is improvising with it. At first I was like, what? A bolt of material, that's good. That's a good idea. Oh my goodness, right down lower, closer to my knee. Woo hoo, good. And if you feel a spot, just do that. Woo hoo, man, that feels good. Hold it. And nice oh my goodness let's switch sides this one's rough right so switch sides now that that sleeping position right if that's where you're um i'm gonna move so you guys can say okay um if you sleep on the other side i know right oh <laughs> sorry mary good okay oh you didn't know you were so tight good the pressure is, so Michelle, is the pressure on, it's the leg that's up here. So you wanna, you wanna lift yourself up a little bit because you wanna feel what's under, on the roller. Okay, good. You wanna feel the leg that's, aha, uh -huh, on the roller. Good, hello. Good, hello adductors, there we are, good. <laughs> I can't wait to see the comments on this move. <laughs> oh my God, good. Breathe. Ah, good. Good. <laughs> I don't know. Jane has a pool noodle. I don't think that's gonna work so well, Jane. <laughs> You're not gonna feel too much with the pool noodle. Good, I'm sorry, good. But it's a, it's a good idea to try with that, absolutely. It's right, you gotta I'm improvise till you get a roller. Everyone's asking for a roller for Christmas. Ah, oh, good. And, whew, nice, release it. Okay, we're gonna sit on your roller. Sit on your roller, up tall, hands out to the side. It's okay if your roller's short, just sit on it. Okay, sit on it. Drop your head to the left. Take your hand behind your roller. Reach your right ear up to the sky. Take it up. Let's do it again. 
Uh, Suzanne Williams, how long after a live class does it get posted to YouTube if we like miss the 9 a.m. class? So Summer, uh, good question. Uh, it all depends. I try to get them up, the 9 a.m.s. Switch arms, back and over. I try to get them up by, no by noon the latest, but it all depends on how long it takes YouTube to, um, to process them. Sometimes they get up by like, I can get them back by 10, 30, 11. But I don't want to promise that because sometimes it takes, like a couple weeks ago for Step, it took literally four hours for the uh, upload to process. And I, yeah, it just depends on YouTube. So I, uh, I would like to tell you that I could tell you exactly when, but it's usually by noon. And if you sign up for notifications, the little bell button on YouTube, that'll tell you when it's back. Big breath in, you'll get a notification. Hands together, bring them to your heart. Great job today everyone uh yeah if you're looking for a real foam roller there's a link to amazon in the description which is the roller that i use here um i love this one it's great it's like i'd say it's it's, it's pretty it's a pretty hard roller but um if you want to take a look at it please do my amazon store and don't forget guys hit that like button share subscribe and when this workout comes back up i will see you uh hit that like share and subscribe Bye, guys.